All right, my friends, this is just an appeal uh, for the Jews to take your Messiah and um, please teach the churches how um, the Messiah should be honored and that God is the God of his, his feast days as well. There's a Hebrew word for that. You know, the Lord of his appointed times. You know, the Lord fulfills these commandments at his, uh, at his coming, and he did. You know, but this one here is a false messiah, and the way that uh, you've seen this image countless times, probably, and um, opening up his uh, top there, who does that remind you of? What superhero, I wonder, does that remind you of? It's a little bit closer to the true Jewish messiah, um, but who does that remind you of? Yeah, Superman. Now the uh, creator of Superman was was Jewish. You know, and Superman too is really talking about, I believe, like the fallen angels and stuff. You know, the three fallen angels, maybe maybe from Revelation or somewhere else. These guys found it a very interesting movie a great ending very entertaining you know um, for those of you who can't see by the way and I think Christopher Reeves may have proclaimed he was a Christian at a certain point but these uh, <coughs> Ubermen or Supermen were from a cult origin um, this is a serpent that's the eye of the serpent there and the body of the serpent so it doesn't really stand for Superman it really stands for in true Hollywood you know um, style it's portraying one thing but it is actually something else you know Christopher Reeve is a very very talented actor I really enjoyed the early Superman movies as compared to the recent ones. I don't think they're anything really compared to the early Superman movies. But uh, Superman 3 <clears throat> was when... I just can't exactly remember how it happened, but uh, he became bad versus good Superman. I remember this bit in the uh, junkyard where he says to... Um, Clark Kent, you know, he always wanted to fly and he throws him across the the junkyard. <laughs> um, really good acting. You know, and this is when um, he has enough and he strangles the bad Superman and he kind of disappears and then he puts right all the wrongs and of course there's a lot more going on in the movie that I think there's a massive computer that um, the arch enemy of Superman builds and uh, you know merging man with machine or in this case woman with machine but I think it's just really prophetic because it's like um, what's happening today uh, transhumanism and such uh, I really think that th there was themes in these movies that, that were quite prophetic as you know, Hollywood does tell about, um, you know, the elite's plans for a lot of these movies. Um, he's becoming transhuman. Just like we are through the chemtrails. Made a video about that the other day. Um, so, I think like Superman 2 and 3 were very significant biblically. Now, obviously, the writer of um superman was was jewish and sadly after uh, christopher reeves had his his accident in 1995 um i just got born again that year and i i do remember that the lord seemed to be um jealous in the fact that there's a lot of people following this icon I know, I know it's just a film, I know it's just a, a movie, but people just can't seem to separate, the, you know, movies from reality. Um, they can't 
they can't obviously if 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 you know if you're born again you can appreciate you can see through a lot of the the garb that Hollywood puts up it's quite entertaining but it's it's not reality but a lot of people follow this icon you know it's like become an idol and the, I remember the Lord was jealous of that that was sadly the same year as uh, Christopher Reeve had his had his riding accident um, so what am I saying here well he, he visited Israel back in 2003 and he was very much involved with the stem cell research very much a, a patron of that um, which I don't think has come to full fruition perhaps um, anyhow maybe for the elite it has but for the general public it's, it's not really not really breaking through I think uh, there's probably a lot more healing and a lot more science for, for the elite available to those with money as to those uh, that don't have a lot of money to spend on on their their health sadly but um link with Israel enjoyed his time in Tel Aviv Christopher Reeve sadly died I think the year after that but it's just an appeal I mean I just think that the storyline in Superman 3 sort of um good messiah versus bad messiah and here you've got I think this is the bad messiah here I think this is the false messiah right here you know this is the, the true messiah right here and this is the false one and sadly all the churches that are Christian are following after this icon here it's just an icon and an image and the Lord is jealous um, for his son the Lord is jealous for his name and a lot of Christian um, churches do not do not um, teach the name Yeshua. Uh, even a lot of them are Jesus only, which they will say Yeshua is a made up name. It's not a made up name. It's actually in the the Greek and Hebrew scriptures. It's the name meaning salvation and deliverer. The name that was given to Gabriel. Um, the one name that we can all be saved through is Yeshua. It doesn't mean to say if you've been baptized in the name of Jesus that you're going to hell. Not at all, because you know God knows who you mean. You mean Yeshua. But if you're truly saved, if you have the Holy Spirit, you're going to get instruction from the Lord. That this this is this is far far closer to His name than this. Do you, you, you understand that? If you are saved, if you have received the Spirit, the Holy Spirit through the Son of God. You're you're not going to deny this name, as it says in Revelation. You're not going to deny his name. <clears throat> so just a little brief history about the background. Superman is Jewish, the Hebrew roots of America's greatest superhero. Um Superman's link uh with the sort of Judaism, the the whole <clears throat> messianic Judaism you know the um, ex expectation of, of the Jewish Messiah sort of embodied in this superhero even though of course you know the, the, the writers of of Superman and, and some of the stories are you know they're quite biblically based even though the, the, the icon himself is not is not biblical just like just like this guy is not biblical this is an idol yes the same as this is an idol and yet uh, I, think I, I think I remember seeing that one recent portrayals of the character 2013 film Man of Steel focus on Christ like messianic qualities of the metropolis Marvel and there was try seeing that on a Sunday morning and the run up to the movie's release, faith-based press um, relations company Grace Hill Media invented, sorry, invited religious figures around the nation to attend the select um, pre-release screenings. Post clips online. <clears throat> yeah, I do. I do remember that. 
there, there was a lot of things on, on YouTube and everything at that time, and there's probably still videos on there about that. And remember that Kalel was Superman's dad, and that's a very much a, a Hebrew name, you know, Mikael, Michael, Yerael, Raphael, the, the, the names of some of the uh, angels of God. El Ohim just you know means God. El is is God. Um, um, very much linked with uh, I believe the Mormon Church as well. Superman, the Superman series. If you check out the whole story of of Joseph Smith, uh, you know, I think the planet was I forget what the planet's name was. Let's find that out, shall we? Well, here it is. It's uh, Kolob. I think Kolob is a is a Hebrew word, but Kolob um, is the planet that the Mormon god rules in, just like Krypton. You know, and in the Bible, of course, it's uh, heaven, which is is not a planet or a place. It's it's, it's just like uh, I would say it's more of a dimensional shift heaven but it is a place as well and some people speculate that it exists within the the, the Pleiadian star system or which I, I don't think it does but you know you can what the heck is going on there <laughs> I thought there were aliens there but <laughs> um, there you go I mean, we've seen these videos. I don't want to deviate too much from from the topic about you know the the fake Messiah versus the true Messiah. But you know, I've seen all of us have seen these videos. Just go on, go onto YouTube, go online, see these craft draining the plasma, or whatever it is, you know, from from the sun, the energy from the sun. I mean, you know, those that are in the elite know that there is. Aliens, but we we know that as born again Christians, we know that there are fallen angels or Nephilim who have branched out into the different planets. You know, uh, yes, there really are planets out there, flat earthers. <laughs> we really do live on a planet as well. But uh, called Earth, you know, flat earthers won't agree with that. Well, the writer of Superman, uh, Jerry Seagal. No relation to Steven Seagal, I don't think, but... Um, so they obviously have some Jewish heritage, you know, have some biblical heritage, and there's, there's a lot of similarities between, you know, the Superman that they wrote about, and I think Moses as well. And a certain aspect there they wrote about him being like Moses compared to Moses because they were both raised by non Jewish families. <laughs> so uh yeah, I mean a lot of people who are involved in Hollywood get to know that there are quite a few um Zionist uh, influences or there have been before I honestly think that when I when I look at Hollywood now, I think there's more Nazi influences now, as in not just Jews, um, you know, Jewish background. I think there's more of a Nazi influence when when you look at the superheroes now. Um, the sort of movies coming out now, it's more Nazi. It's more about what Hitler spoke about. Um, you know, like Robocop being a be my least favourite um, sort of superhero movie from, from the 80s and I think it conforms more to the New World Order you know, the transhumanism agenda and all that stuff but nice though, I mean Superman it's quite a romantic story and I've, I've heard a few people's testimonies about going to heaven and that you know that you that people can fly in heaven as well and all that stuff you, you can practically do whatever whatever your mind uh, wants to do uh, you know you can do in heaven you know through the power of God you know God shows his power through 
his children and his testimonies of people going to heaven they can fly or they can do things they can't do or they couldn't do here on earth <clears throat> um, so I think the idea of, of that is, is quite romantic again but let's look at the true origin of this uh, icon <clears throat> well you see the new Superman outfit very reptilian like you know on the outside there's the eye of the serpent here right there serpent and that that's what it should look like right there serpent man okay um it's really lucifer that's that's what it's saying um sadly you know uh he's more christ like but again the antichrist you know comes as a as a christ like individual you know so uh you see uh see in the the serpent you know i've read some really good novels biblical novels about um that the fallen angel being able to um change shape or there's a few stories about um lizard like or reptilian like men which i think there's just a movie came out about that which we'll look at briefly there's just a little article about you know uh the fallen angel there and it's linked to the serpent or that he is the serpent it's one and the same This is from Otis Studios about a reptilian invasion. Um, very, very interesting indeed. You know, um, the fact the Bible says it's already happened 6,000 years ago is, uh, I mean, what do we believe? You know, I, I happen to believe that, you know, the scripture indicates that. Um, Satan or, or, or Lucifer who is a fallen cherub um, you know was one of the high ranked cherubs you know above the archangels so that they're, they're whole other beings than than what, what you see a regular angel as even though if you understand about angels they're extremely powerful but these beings had um, immense power um you know, even of course over over the human consciousness, um, the serpents used, of course, in the medical industry. You know, if if you're a doctor, uh, you take the Hippocratic oath, and the very seal of the medical industry, there's a serpent wrapped around a staff, which we can just briefly look at. You know, it's right there. So this is sort of the symbol, uh, it's not the Red Cross, but it's, uh, I forget what that one was, kind of a drugstore, I suppose, a pharmacy. Um, a few of them we, we, we just happen to have seen quite a lot, and some people who have seen, you know, being abducted, happen to see this type of thing, like a serpent type badge um, as well. So, kind of used in mind control. Probably a lot of mind control victims, when they see Superman movies, they'll get a little bit affected. They'll get a little bit, oh, what's happening here, man? It's got a link to the serpent, of course. The fallen cherub, uh, Lucifer. Um, again, this new Superman suit, closer to maybe what the... Uh, the idea that these uh, Jewish guys got in their heads, you know, maybe Satan putting these idea, 
ideas into their heads, otherwise if they were Christian, they wouldn't need to make movies about some other icon and make it as Christ-like as possible, you see. That's uh, a satanic movie. Just make a movie about, about Yeshua, about the true Jewish Messiah if they were born again, but of course they're not born again. And so it's always a slant on the truth, these these movies, and uh, my hat is off, you know, to uh, Dana Dunford, who is still making videos, you know, showing people about what's happening on this earth and the fact that, you know, about a third of the sea, uh, the fish in the sea are about dead already, but people don't realise what's happening, the churches are not telling you what's happening. There's hardly any videos on YouTube that are really telling you what's happening now. They're, te they're, they're getting you to think about the rapture, which is very nice, but, you know, nobody seems to be, hardly anyone, uh, there's just a handful of people who seem to be involved in the front line of defending humanity, if you want, and also proclaiming the truth as well. Um, standing up for themselves and as well as themselves as their family and humanity there's there's just uh, hardly anyone who, who's fighting the good fight today there's a lot of bickering among the, the denominations the churches, the congregations take your eyes off of the false Christ and realise that he's, he is the Jewish Messiah to the Jew first and then the Gentile please you got to realise that if there's anything you take away from this channel, um, take, please take away that. Please understand how vital it is perhaps for your salvation and your family's salvation that you start following Yeshua. You know, the true Jewish Messiah. A lot of Orthodox Jews don't want Christians getting in on celebrating the Jewish feasts because, you know, they'll have to have conversations with them about Yeshua, very, you know, um, awkward conversations. They don't want that. They want you to stick to the false Messiah. They'll send your soul to hell. You know, don't say that God hasn't told you. Don't say that he hasn't sent his messengers out. You know, there's a lot of people out from all different races, black, white, and everything else in between telling you about the true Yeshua. Not the fact about his skin color, the fact about his culture coming to fulfill the Jewish festivals. That's the important message that you must take from um, my channel. That's the, the, the most important message that, that you, you must receive from my channel, my friends. <clears throat> um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video about Superman. You know, uh, we must pray for the film actors. Who some, some of them are just being used. They don't fully understand, um, you know, the roles that they're taking. When they're taking these movies, a lot of them don't fully understand it. Perhaps some of them do fully understand that some of them might be initiates in secret societies and pushing the Luciferian agenda or the Antichrist agenda. You know, the transhumanism thing. But I believe that these, these early movies really exposed um, the plans that, that, that we see around us now, that are happening now. And uh, Lex Luthor here is, I mean, what one of one of the greatest uh, film, you know, characters, if you like, in 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 movie history. I think, you know, um, that's my opinion. Um, really, really well played um, in these movies. These characters make movies, but there's there's no characters anymore in in the movie industry. They're, they've all clearly been compromised terribly. Um, and we know that they're all satanic. Every movie that comes out is extremely satanic now. Um, knowing a lot of these um, backgrounds of these film actors and actresses, how they've been compromised, uh, <clears throat> you know, Pizzagate and all that stuff. I really don't think that the actors going back uh, 30, 40, 50 years were in it as much, but I, I could be wrong. I don't think Christopher Reeves would be one of these ones who were, you know, into these uh, things as much. But again, I could be wrong. You know, so uh, anyway, guys, God bless.